It is the 12th of the 2nd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Europe snow blocks in tens of thousands as the cold death toll rises. Snow just reaching up to the rooftops keeps tens of thousands of villagers prisoners in their own homes Saturday as the death toll from Europe's big freeze rose past 550. More heavy snow fell on the Balkans and in Italy, while the Danube River already closed to shipping for hundreds of kilometers because of ice froze over in Bulgaria for the first time in 27 years. Now this is a major, major waterway that they use to produce or to ship their goods up and through Europe. <clears throat> Ocean current slowdown made Earth spin faster. Um, it sometimes feels those some months go by faster than others, but in November 2009 it really did. Events in Southern Ocean conspired to make the Earth spin ever so slightly faster, shortening half of the days in the month by 0.1 milliseconds each. And as the water melts from the poles and the fat Earth gets fatter, um, you got to remember she's not exactly on axis and uh, wobbling and all that, the insanity. Japan's priest fights invisible demon radiation. Um, on the snowy fringes of Japan's Fukushima city, now notorious uh, for its nuclear crisis, a Zen monk offers prayers for the souls of thousands left dead or missing after the earthquake and tsunami nearly a year ago. But away from the ceremonial drums and the incense swirling around the, the temple altar, uh, he has undertaken another risk, no less herring, to search out radioactive hot spots and clean them up, storing irradiated earth on temple grounds because they have no plan to clean up all this radioactive material. There's no way they're going to do it. They keep dumping it in the rivers to push it out in the ocean to dilute it. <sighs> Believe it or not, the sky is falling. A significant measurement of negative feedback to global warming. And basically this story is going on about the cloud height, average cloud height, and how it's been decreasing. And that has to affect with the temperature totals. And a uh, big fire in Jamaica, smoke from dump fire blankets, Jamaican capital. Uh, acidic smoke from a fire at sprawling trash dump blanketed swaths of Jamaica's capital Thursday, and officials warned people to stay indoors and avoid exposure to potentially dangerous pollutants. Uh, they're saying it's going to take them three or four days to put the fire out and another five days of uh, smoke problems. Um, if they get it under control in time. And again, this is a huge, uh, big open dump next to the sea. Afghanistan's hit with heaviest snows in 15 years. Uh, just goes the extreme weather, uh, the winter weather going on. And that's about all new they have going on tonight. Uh, over to the watchers. Let me back that up. Sorry about that. Uh, tropical cyclone Giovanna aims for Madagascar. Uh, Madagascar is again on the path of dangerous tropical cyclone. Uh, it's currently north of the island of Port Louis and Reunion and is tracking southwest towards the eastern Madagascar coast. According to the Typhoon Weather Center, the system is located 260 nautical miles northeast and is moving southwesterly. <clears throat> and is expected to gain sustained winds of over 190 km with gusts of 210 km an hour before making landfall. And uh, they just had a severe uh, tropical storm roll through there and a lot of damage in, in homes both in Madagascar and in Africa. Coronal mass ejection to reach planet on February 4th or 14th. Uh, the sun's blown us a kiss for Valent or Valentine's Day. Coronal mass ejection CME is seen in the latest images as the result of a filament lifting off the northern hemisphere. Geomagnetic field activity is expected to increase to unsettled to active levels, 
With high latitude minor storm intervals, it could produce nice auroras around both polar circles. And um, <clears throat> we get hit with these things all the time. It's just uh, we're getting a little kiss from the sun on Valentine's Day. Ice Age Now, they've been covering the, the big freeze in Europe and Asia pretty good. 140,000 people trapped by snow, and the death toll rises past 550 in Europe. Snow drifts reaching up to the rooftops kept tens of thousands of vi villagers prisoners in their own homes on Sunday, of course. Uh, code Red for the agricultural in Tuscany. Blizzard comes and farmers tremble. Loss rate up to 50%. Uh, hundreds of barns collapse in Italy. At least one million farm animals in danger of running out of food. Turkey quake survivors fighting in the snow. Uh, walking 300 feet through the snow to reach the nearest toilets. And uh, they are living outside because they are still in fear of the big quakes uh, that was going on in Turkey. And a lot of homes were destroyed. More than 2,000 roads blocked in Turkey by heavy snows. And uh, California freeze kills 20% of orange crop and more than 100 vessels trapped in icy waters of the Sea of Azov uh, up in the Black Sea. And that's about all new they have going on tonight. Over to the RSOE, uh, still having the flooding situation in Australia, of course, uh, the state of New South Wales and Queensland. Uh, snowstorm reports out of uh, Rome, Italy. They've got a landslide report in the Philippines, but it's actually a volcano alert. Uh, the Canaloan volcano had some major cracks um, appear in the dome and, and some landslides and stuff going on, and they're, they're putting that volcano on, on pretty high alert. Uh, they definitely think it's, it's getting ready to pop after that 6.9 earthquake. You know, we had all the multiple aftershocks in uh, the Philippines. <clears throat> That's about all new they have climate change wise tonight. Now over to the the nuclear stuff. Uh, e, e News just in. Reactor number two hits 78.3 degrees centigrade. Melted fuel may be moving inside. Um, reporting out of TEPCO. And um, <laughs> TEPCO believes reactor number two is still in a state of cold shutdown because it's under 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, or no, it's 80 degrees. That's what they agreed to put on. Is a uh, media retrospective. Is nuclear fuel and spent fuel pool number four damaged? Of course it is. Uh, parts of spent fuel pool number four Footage were unclear. No change in shape of fuel assembled observed, says TEPCO. And a thousand march against nuclear power in Japan. This must not be condoned by human beings. It's against ethics. And basically, nuclear energy is a crime against humanity. And they have a bunch of stories. Governments secretly injected people with plutonium. Disabled school ch children were fed radioactive oatmeal. Um, again, we they feel we are guinea pigs uh, for their whatever they choose to do in the sky or in our food or in our water. And uh, treat us like little children and not tell us what's really going on. So uh, I've got one more thing to say. Um, I, I, I got this link in from a, from one of my subscribers. I don't want to put his name out there because I'm not really sure if he wants to be identified or not. Um, but basically it's a report from the USNRC, the National, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission um, on boric acid corrosion of carbon steel reactor pressure boundary and how boric acid from the the chemical process is eating these reactors at, re at alarming rates and um, it definitely goes into detail how how um, how quickly um, this metal degrades and that might bear into play uh, with what happened in reactor number one. You remember Arne Gunderson said that those bolts gave way and it popped up under a hundred pressure and uh, so again a big 9.0 earthquake hit this rusted nuclear um, <clears throat> reactor 
and pop the top bolts and that's probably what happened with that but uh, here's some definite technical in information you can check out and get out uh, thank you for that that's about all I have for you today of course if I missed anything please attach your comments or your videos below thanks for your support and enjoy what you can everybody